Well, I just did my float test, and it floats. Now, the top side's pretty ugly. I haven't sanded it at all. And it's uh, the carbon fiber and Kevlar blue and black. But it's roving, it's not really fabric. But it's really strong, and it does not flex at all now. Now, the bottom side is okay, because I was able to put a big piece of fabric on might give it a little bit more epoxy on when I finish doing the arms but we're gonna do the arms next hopefully tonight and finish up the front and the back trim and it's at 130 grams right now and that's with all the wiring for the ESC's and everything and power for the uh, flight controller I have to clean up the top plate that I needed to use it to place it when I was laminating the uh, bottom and uh, it floats uh, with about a half an inch actually uh, or half a centimeter or so a centimeter sorry here so it doesn't actually touch these wires even it floats below with the uh, wider arms the arms are deeper than the bottom so it should work quite well and it is 135 with the motor mounts as well those uh, 2805 Emax two cell motors uh, have detachable bases so I could swap out motors and laminate these into the actual frame so that's what I've done and we will uh, check alignment as soon as we assemble it but we're gonna finish laminating it and get it up to about 150 grams maximum total with the wires in the top plate for the battery and everything and uh, we'll see what it weighs Oops. at least it's a little bit more durable now I don't have to worry about so much it cracking but uh, I'm gonna wrap the arms with a tubular wrap so we're gonna go around like this out to the ends and uh, that will give it a little bit more strength as well but it is pretty durable right now I think and uh, I thought about using just the foam exposed but I want to finish it up nicely and put nice fabric like this on the arms so we'll try that next <laughs> 